Apapun mereka bilang Tegakku takkan hilang Jalanku masih panjang Garis akhir yang ku pandang Apapun mereka bilang Tegakku tetap kuat Jalanku masih panjang Garis akhir yang ku Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So we continue the Fury series Alright As I told you before The Fury series is actually uh, FX Okay and FX How to get FX FX is given by A0 over 2 Plus the summation of sine and cosine function Okay but for sine and cosine You have AN and BN in front of your sine and cosine. All right. So now we call a not a n and b n a not a n and b n as Fourier coefficients. Fourier coefficients. So if I told you, okay, find uh, the Fourier coefficients means that you need to find out a. A0, AN, and BN. So, how to get A0, AN, and BN? So, A0, AN, and BN can be found by using these formulas. Okay. So, you have A0 equals to 1 over L. Integrate from negative L to L. Negative L to L. Fx dx. AN, 1 over L. Just, uh, just the same as A0. But, this Fx is multiplied by cos n pi x over L. Dx. Okay. And BN is also just like A0 and AN, but it is not cosine, but this one is sine N by X over L. So, how to um, how to apply this formula? So, you, you will have 1 over L. So, how do you get L? L comes from your periodic function Fx equals to Fx plus 2L, right? So, you just find what is your L. 2L, for example, 2L equals to 2 pi. Therefore, L equals to pi. Okay, so you just substitute pi and then here from negative pi to pi. Okay, then your fx is your function, lah, your piecewise function, where the function uh, are piece by piece, so that you you need to find out the, the fx according to the limit from negative L to L. So this is just like what we have uh, discussed uh, when uh, we have in the chapter 3 which is the Laplace transform right so the piecewise function so it is that is how you you try to substitute into the formula okay so some in, in, some important points okay normally using uh, throughout your calculation here in order to get a not a n and b n you will find that when you substitute the limit, okay, when you substitute the limit, you will find that um, cos 0, okay, for example, you need to substitute uh, 0 to pi, okay, okay, uh, 0 to pi, okay, and then this one is from negative pi to 0, for example, you have the function here, you have the function here, and then you need to substitute uh, cos 0, for example, so cos 0 equals 1. Okay, uh, kalau tak percaya, try to, to press your calculator, okay, in in radian mode okay in radian mode and you will find that cos zero will always one sine zero is zero okay and these two information is uh was already been discussed okay uh in the previous video cos negative x will always be positive sine negative x is negative sine x okay so now sine and pi sine and pi will always be zero sine n pi will always be zero sine negative n pi is negative sine n pi okay negative sine n pi sine n pi always zero negative zero is zero okay so you can substitute n with with uh integer lah one two three four five six okay make sure your calculator in radian mode so you just uh punch your calculator sine pi when n equals one so you have sine pi the answer is 0. Sine 2 pi, the answer is 0. Sine 3 pi, the answer is 0. Until whatever numbers that you have here. 
Okay, the number, uh, your n is integer lah. Okay, so cos and pi, okay, cos and pi, cos and pi, cos and pi is negative 1 to the power of n. You can simplify uh, cos and pi just like this. Okay, so you can substitute n with uh, 1, okay, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and the list goes on. Okay, so when your n is odd, okay, n equals to 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, 9, 11, for example, you will get negative 1. Okay, when n in when n is odd. So, bila you masuk kat sini, negative 1, kuasa 1, jawapan dia negative 1. Kalau tak percaya, tekan calculator. You will get always negative 1. Okay. So, when your n is uh, even, okay, even, 2, 4, 6, okay, 8, right. So, your cos and pi will always be positive. So, dia, saya nak kata, cos and pi ni, dia, uh, it always alternate positive and negative 1. So that is why we we put a uh, negative 1 to the power of n for cos and pi. So that is the idea. Okay. So if you have cos negative n pi pun, okay, cos k negative n pi, we know that cos negative will always positive. So you will have cos n pi. So cos n pi apa? Still the same lah. Cos n pi is negative 1, negative 1 to the power of n. The same thing. Okay. This, this knowledge is very important whenever you you try to substitute the limit tau. So, hati-hati, cos negative n pi will always be cos n pi. Remember, saya dah repeat banyak kali dah perkataan ni. Please remember and do not do the mistake when you try to substitute the limit. Alright. So, okay. Cos, ne cos negative n pi. Okay, cos negative n pi is cos n pi. But if you have negative, okay, negative dia memang dekat luar dah. Bukan neg cos negative tau. Tetapi negative. Ataupun kita kata we can say that tolak. Satu, one minus cos n pi. Ha, macam tu. This is one minus cos n pi is one minus cos n pi lah. Tau. One minus cos n pi is one minus cos n pi. But one minus cos negative n pi. Okay, negative n pi is 1 minus cos uh, n pi. Ha, yang ini, dia kalau duduk di dalam ini, dia akan jadi positif. Dia sentiasa positif. Tetapi kalau ada ada fungsi tolak ataupun ada tanda tolak di depan, so dia adalah tolak lah. Jangan ada positif kan dia. Alright. But, class, but we can see as you as you uh, try to do exercises on the textbook, you will find that, oh, I have one negative, one minus cos and, sorry, one minus cos and pi. Kenapa buku bagi jawapan? One, okay, one plus, sepatutnya dekat sini, jawapan dia adalah one minus cos and pi is one minus negative satu kuasa n. Tetapi kenapa buku teks bagi jawapan one plus negative satu n plus one? Okay. So, awak kira macam ni, 1 minus cos n pi is 1 minus negative 1 to the power of n. Betul tak? Dia berdasarkan ilmu yang kita belajar dekat sini. Okay. But, kenapa buku teks bagi jawapan yang ini? Okay. This is why when you change the, when you try to change the the sign in front of the negative 1 to the power of n. So, negative 1 to the power of n ni dia akan tambah 1. Okay. Kalau you tak percaya, kita ambil. Let's say n equals to 1, okay? Let's say n equals to 1. So, dekat sini jawapan dia apa? 1 tolak negative 1 kuasa 1 is you have 1 minus minus 1. So, plus 1 equals to 2, right? So, equals to 2. So, kita tengok jawapan dia sama tak dengan yang ni? So, 1, okay, plus negative 1, okay? So, dekat sini you ada uh, 2, kan? n tadi 1, n 1, 1 tambah 1, 2. So, you will have 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Ha, kan sama tu? Ah, right. So, what I want to say here is when you change, okay, when you change the the sign here, so dekat sini pun kita akan ubah lah. Okay. So, yang ini I just show you when n equals to 1. Okay, in mathematics you cannot simply say that when n equals to 1 dia sama so dia betul lah. Okay, tak. Okay, so you you kena buat induction sikit. So, n equals to 2. Try lah n equals to 3, uh, n equals to 10. Apa jadi? Okay, so what I want you to understand is 
the answer is just the same. Okay, kadang-kadang dia tak nak letak negatif dekat depan, nampak tak elok so dia positifkan lah macam tu lah. Tapi itulah yang kita, yang kita nak simplify sahaja. Okay, dia tak ada, dia if you, if you put the answer like this is true, like this pun also true. Okay, so that is, um, that is the explanation. Okay, explanation on the Fourier series. What are the, what is the Fourier series class? The Fourier series is given by fx equals to a naught over 2 plus summation n from 1 to a n cos n pi x over l plus b n sin n pi x over l. So how to get a naught a n and b n? Use this formula. After you get a naught a n and b n, so you plug in. Apa jawapan dekat sini? A naught ni. So must you need to plug in here. A naught and then divide by 2. You get the answer in uh, a n, substitute here and then multiply with cos n pi x over l. Masukkan nilai l. What is your l? Okay. And then you get the value of b n and then you need to substitute here and then multiply it with sin n pi x over l. So that is the Fourier series. So this is the Fourier series class. Okay. Satu formula sahaja. Tu so yang uh, mudahnya Fourier series ni. Alright. So we go to the... Uh, Example, okay. So first of all, they got a periodic function is defined as okay, a periodic function. So don't worry. So periodic function is just to show that you have a repeated function, and this is for Fourier series lah. Okay, a periodic function is defined as f x equals to one minus x square, okay, within the range of negative one to one. So this one is x from negative l to l class. Okay, so what is your L? Kalau negative L equals negative 1, L equals 1. So, apa lagi? L equals 1 lah kan? Alright. So, otherwise you can see here. Okay, this is to show you that you have a periodic function fx plus 2. fx plus 2 means that 2 is your 2L. Therefore, L equals to 1. So, sama lah ni. Alright. So, this periodic function shows you that for each of the interval two units, okay, you will get the repeated function. So, dia kata soalan pertama, sketch the graph of the given function over x from negative l, sorry, negative 3 to 3. Okay. The question asks you to, to, to sketch from negative 3 to 3 class. But, you need to follow whatever, uh, whatever limit, uh, whatever function that you've been given in the question. The question is 1 minus x square, the function, okay, 1 minus x square, x from negative 1 to 1. So, avoid this one first, okay. Okay, you close this one. So, dia kata sketch the graph dulu. Baca macam tu. Kata, oh, sketch the graph. Alright. So, I want to sketch the graph. 1 minus x square is a quadratic function. Quadratic function. So, you, you will never get the linear graph or the uniform graph like this. Okay. So, the idea is uh, quadratic graph. Okay, so for the quadratic graph, so saya ambillah ni function dia fx equals to 1 uh, minus x square. Ini for those yang tak tahu nak lukis eh. So, saya ajar satu-satu. fx equals to 1 minus x square is your function. So, dia ada limit x daripada negatif 1 ke 1. I want to know what is my y. What is my fx punya titik, dia punya point. Okay, so saya nak buat koordinat dah ni kiranya. When x equals to negative 1, saya substitute dekat sini, I get fx equals to 0. Okay, so the titik dia sebenarnya adalah negative 1, kosong. So, negative 1, kosong mana? Sini. Over here. Okay, and then, oh tak habis lagi. Satu lagi. Saya ambil titik 1. When x equals to 1, saya substitute sini, 1 tolak 1 is 0. Oh, 1, kosong. So, the point is 1 and 0. Okay. So, X saya ni. X saya satu. So, Fx is your uh, Y exists, okay? Zero. So, I get uh, one zero. Titik one zero mana? Sini. Tapi, saya tak tahu. For example, eh, saya fikir, eh, hey, I don't know lah uh, whether this graph would be this like this or the graph is will be uh, titik sini dengan titik sini kan? Uh, ke titik dia uh, macam ni? Saya tak tahu. Ha, saya tak tahu. For example lah kan? You confused. So, I would suggest you Cari lagi satu titik. Cari lagi satu titik. How to get uh, the other one form. Eh, sorry, the other one point. So, tengoklah. 
your x is from negative 1 to 1. Apa titik yang ada dalam lingkungan negative 1 to 1? Saya kata paling senang is uh, when x equals to 0. Okay. X equals to 0. Just cari lagi satu titik. Saya nak cari satu titik, saya kena pilih lah apa-apa saja di dalam lingkungan sini. X equals to 0 lah katakan kan. So when x equals to 0, saya test. When x equals to 0, saya masuk dalam ni fx equals to 1 x equals to 0, fx equals to 1. So, the other one titik is 01, titik 01. So, titik 01 is somewhere here. Okay, so now I have the idea that my quadratic graph is like this. Ha, macam tu lah. Okay. Tetapi, okay, but this is only a single function from negative 1 to 1. But the question asked me to, ha, baru buka ni to sketch over the interval negative 3 to 3. Okay, sebelum tu saya, saya tahu each of the two units, satu unit and satu unit, okay. Each of the two units, I will get the same shape of this waveform. So, tak apa, saya buat macam ni. Uh, this is uh, 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5. Okay, tetapi dia nak bentuk sampai 3 je kan? Okay, tak apa. So, this one is negative 2, negative 3, so negative 4 and so on. Okay. So now, so saya dah nak, nak, dah nak mula copy and paste or, or I try to duplicate my function. So that is why we call it as a periodic function or the repeated function. So I have 1, 2 here. Okay. Okay. So I hope macam ni. Okay. And then saya ada lagi satu, satu unit kedua. So pop. Macam tu. Okay. Sampai titik tiga lah. Okay, the other one is Okay, sama lah ni eh. Titik ni satu lah ni. Saya lukis tak cantik ni. But supposed to be this one is at the same level of one. Okay, so this is your, your piecewise, eh, sorry. This is your periodic function lah. Okay, so dia mesti pergi sama eh bentuk dia eh. Right, so this one is two units. Two units and this one is also two units with the same height of y equals to one. So this is your uh, function or the graph of your function from negative 3 to 3. Kalau dia suruh extend lagi, so lukis dah lagi. Ah, 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 ah. Dan seterusnya. Tinggi dia satu and then dia punya ni adalah two units. Two units. Two units. Okay. So you will have the repeated function. Okay next. Dia kata apa? Determine whether the function is odd or even or neither odd nor even function. Okay. Nak tahu dia odd ke even function uh, kita boleh cuba imagine that uh, kita tak ada function ni. Kita tak ada ni. Jangan tengok dah yang ni. Kita ambil yang titik yang tengah-tengah ni dekat kosong ni. Okay. Cuba lipat. You try to fold at the y axis. Dia melekat tak? Okay. Is it stick to each other? Okay. So kalau dia dia melekat to each other it means that it is even lah. Cuba ni. Letak ni and then you lipat dia ke sana. Uh, maksudnya lipat dua lah titik pada part C Y, okay at Y axis, it is symmetrical, okay, it is symmetrical about the Y axis, so that we say that this function is even function, okay. If the question asks you justify your your reason ataupun state your reason, kenapa yang awak kata di even? This is an even function, okay, because it is symmetrical about the Y axis. Ah, itulah alasan dia, okay, right? <coughs> okay, so next. Find the Fourier series of the given function. Okay, guys. When you have an even function, okay, please avoid to apply the this formula class. Please avoid to apply this formula. This is because of um, this formula. This formula is actually uh, valid for, for all even, odd, or neither odd, not even function. Okay, tetapi when you have... Um, <coughs> when you have even function, so, so I skip di sini. Okay, when you have even function. Okay, when you have an even function. Alright, so your bn is zero. Just put bn equals to zero. When you calculate bn, you will get always zero. Okay, so bn equals to zero. So the original uh, formula just now is you have a not a n and bn tau. Nampak tak dekat sini? This one eh. This is the formula. Okay, but when your bn is zero, so you 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 left this one this term so what 
So what e what are the function or what are the coefficients that you need to find are on the a naught and a n so that you need to plug in into this formula. Don't forget your the summation sign. Okay, so that is why we have like this only this one. Okay, so you need to find out a a naught n a n. Okay, so but before that. When you have even function, when you have even function, the, the limit is not from negative L to L, but from 0 to L, okay? And instead of 1 over L, you have 2 over L. So this formula is about like this, okay? Your, your graph uh, is something like that, right? Okay, this one is 1, so it's 1, 1. So this is your graph. It is just like... You calculate for the one function here, over here, and then you times 2 because you have 2 over L, right? So times 2, okay, you calculate from 0 to L, from 0 to 1 is 0 to L, and then you times 2, okay, in front of the formula so that you calculate sebelah, it is actually you calculate for the other, the other, the other, uh, the other side. So you already calculate for two sides, okay, so that is the idea. <clears throat> so we continue. Find the Fourier series of the given function. I know that the Fourier series is fx equals to a naught over 2 plus n from 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x over l. Do I need to plus b n? No need because b n is 0. Okay, so the first step is just write b n equals to 0 because I have even function. So this is you have one mark, satu marka. Okay, so I continue. Um, I want to find a naught first. Okay, I want to find a naught. So how to get a naught? <clears throat> a naught is given by 2 over L, limit from 0 to L, fx, dx. So this is why, this is how we we try to compute. So this is the first step. Just uh, write down the formula. You still not get any marks here. Okay, so now you need to find out what is your L. We know that L equals to 1 here. Okay. From negative L to L, so L equals to 1 or otherwise you can see from this. You can see from this, 2L equals to 2, therefore L equals to 1. So 2 over 1 is 2, okay, limit from 0 to 1, fx, dx. Okay, still not get any marks. This is just your understanding. So go. 2, okay, limit from 0 to 1, ada berapa function? Limit from 0 to 1. 0 to 1 ada dekat mana guys? 0, 0 to 1. Uh, doctor, dekat sini, we have from negative 1 to 1. Okay, betul. From negative 1 here, from negative 1 to 1. Ni, ni. Tengok graf ni. From negative 1 to 1. Tetapi kita nak kira sebelah kan? Kita nak kira sebelah ni. Ini fungsi apa ni? Fungsi apa ni? Fungsi dia yang inilah. Okay. Because 0 to 1 is lies in here. Okay. So, we have 1 minus x square. Okay, so from 0 to 1, I have fx is 1 minus x square dx. Alright, so I continue. 2 is 2. Okay, so that I have, in, I have to integrate 1, uh, sorry, 1 minus x square ke? Ah, saya tulis, salah tulis. Alright. Okay, betulkan. 1 minus x square. So, when we integrate 1 with respect to x, what do we get? Integrate 1, you get x, okay, and then integrate x square, you will have x cubed over 3 and then put the limit from 0 to 1. So, I have 2 outside, <coughs> substitute 1 first, so you have 1 minus 1 over 3, okay, and then minus 0, so 0 lah, okay, so you have 2, 3, 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3, so that you have 4 over 3. Okay, 4 over 3 is your A naught. Okay, so keep it, keep it for a while. And then we need to, um, <coughs> sorry, we need to substitute inside the formula here. Okay, after this. Right, so we continue, we want to find out A N. Okay, kata kalau A N, saya kira dekat sini. Okay, so A N equals to uh, 2 over L from 0 to L F X times cos n pi x over l dx. Okay, so I try to substitute the information first. My l equals to 1 just now. Okay, my l equals to 1. So 2. 
from 0 to 1 fx okay do not substitute uh, first your what is your fx just apply the formula and then substitute l first okay so you have cos n pi x over 1 okay over 1 and then we have the x right so then only you substitute the what is your fx from 0 to 1 just now just the same thing from 0 to 1 is somewhere here your function is 1 minus x square okay so from 0 to 1 you have 1 minus x square times cos n pi x dx all right so then only we try to to solve it nampak fungsi ni macam susah but don't worry you have here is 1 minus x square is a polynomial function cos n pi x is um trigonometric function so when we are dealing with uh, two different function okay ada multiplication here right and then you want to integrate so we, we need to apply integration by parts or tabular method so say apply tabular method so my tabular method is this one is u this one is dv my u is 1 minus x square and this one is cos n pi x okay cos n pi x ni better kita letak macam ni tau because uh, we know that n pi is the form, uh, sorry, n pi is uh, constant. Okay, bila kita integrate constant kan, kita bawa constant turun ke bawah. So that we need to uh, bring n pi, both n pi to your denominator. Okay, sebab so x variable. Okay, so differentiate 1 minus x square, you will have negative 2x. Integrate cos. Integrate cos dapat apa? Dapat sine kan? So we have sine n pi x okay over n pi okay otherwise you can write simply like this 1 over n pi times sine n pi x ha, macam tu. and this n pi and this n pi cannot be cancelled out do not cancel out the sine n pi right we continue because we still not get zero here at your u so that we have to differentiate again so we have negative 2 integrate sign you will have negative cos okay negative cos n pi x okay over n pi again so you have n square pi square okay differentiate once again you get zero okay we will finish our uh, integration here but integrate once again cos you will have cosine sorry integrate cosine you will get positive sign but you have a uh, negative sign in front of your function here so we have negative okay sine n pi x over n pi so you will have n cube pi cube okay. so that we have alternate sign here plus minus n plus okay this function is positive okay this one is positive this one is positive times positive so positive this one is negative um, this one is also negative and you have the minus sign so you have negative this one is negative this one is positive and this one is negative you will get positive all right so let's continue Dua. so you have one minus x square times um, a sine n pi x over n pi okay over n pi so saya letaklah mana-mana pun jangan cancel out sahaja negatif 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 is negatif so saya tutup sini eh minus uh, 2x over n square pi square cos n pi x okay and then this one is positive negative negative is positive negative 2 over n cube pi cube sine n pi x okay all right so limit from 0 to 1 so now we need to substitute so be careful we have 2 is 2 okay so 1 minus substitute 1 okay first substitute 1 so 1 minus 1 square is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so the first term is gone habis so 0 okay and then minus minus sign here so minus substitute 1 so ha we have 2 times 1 is 2 2 n square pi square 2 n square pi square so cos n pi x 
x is 1. x 1. Cos n pi. What is cos n pi? Negative 1 to the power of n. Okay. So that minus, continue here, 2 over n cube pi cube sin n pi x. x is 1. x is 1. Sin n pi will always 0, right? 0. Sin n pi is 0 so that we don't have this term. Abyss. So this one is minus 0. Abyss. 2 is belongs to the whole thing on your right. So this is the upper limit. This is the upper limit. Okay, upper limit. So minus with the lower limit. Okay, kita nak minus with the lower limit. Substitute 0. So 1 minus 0. Substitute here, okay. 1 minus 0 is 1. Sin n 0 is sin 0. Sin 0 is 0. Ha, macam tu. Substitute 0 here. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. Okay. Got it? Okay. It's negative. So this one is uh, positive. Eh, this one sepatutnya positive kan? Okay. Positive, negative, negative is positive. Okay, this one is positive. Kenapa saya tak negative? So positive. Right. So thank God because this one is we get zero. So continue. So plus two. Plus two. Plus two over n cube pi cube. Okay. Sign, sign zero. Substitute here. Sign n pi times zero is sign zero. Sign zero is zero. Okay. So this one cos zero sepatutnya satu. But when two x, x here is zero. So you get zero juga. So, zero. Alright. So, we have, what do we have? So, we will have 2 times negative 2 so that you have negative 4 n square pi square negative 1 n. So, this is your a n. So, now we continue. This is not uh, our solution yet. Our solution is fx equals to a naught over 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x over l l what is l l equals to tadi 1 kan so tak apalah alright so you just substitute what is your a naught a naught tadi apa 4 over 3 4 over 3 so 4 over 3 is 4 over 3 4 over 3 times 2 6 lah 4 over 6 okay so 4 over 6 4 over 6 what is 4 over 6 you have 2 over 3. Okay. So plus summation n from 1 to infinity. A n, a n, a n here. Negative 4 n square pi square negative 1 to the power of n. So cos n pi x. Okay. Kalau you nak positive kan dia. Here if you want to put this one is positive. So you must plus 1 here. N plus 1. Right. So, let the solution just like this. Okay, so that I have negative. <laughs> okay, this is my fx. If the question asks you, find the Fourier series. Okay, katakanlah soalan dekat sini saya tambah. Eh. Actually, we we already met the solution. Find the Fourier series at the given function. So that your solution is this one. This is your fx. This is your Fourier series. Okay, your Fourier series is fx. But, if I extend the question, dia kata find the Fourier series of the given function up to n equals to 3. Ha, dia kata n equals to 3. First of all, you just uh, ignore this one first. You just find out what is the Fourier series of your function fx just like what we did just now. Okay, but if the question asks you to up to n equals to 3. Alright, so after, after you get the solution here fx here, then only you put, then only you put uh, n from 1 until 3. Dekat mana yang kita nak buat tu? Dekat sini. You need to uh, open the summation function. So your function fx would be 2 over 3 is just 2 over 3. Yo, so that you plus plus. So when n equals to 1, substitute n equals to 1 you dapat apa? So you will get negative 4, negative uh, negative uh, sorry 1. 1 square uh, times pi square you have pi square. Negative 1 to the power of 1 here, negative 1 to the power of 1 is negative so that you have positive sign here. Then you have cos um, cos pi x. Okay, tak habis lagi. Then you 
you you open when n equals to 1 so dia pergi 2 pula lah when n equals to 2 you will have um sorry when n equals to 2 you ada negative sign depan so negative 4 over n equals to 2 2 2 square here is 4 so that you will have um 1 over pi square this one is negative 1 square is negative 1 so negative 1 negative uh, negative 1 square is positive 1 so this one is still negative okay so cos cos n equals to 2 so 2 pi x okay and then we continue not finish yet because we need to go until n equals to 3 okay when n equals to 3 you will get you will get negative 4 9 okay this one is 3 3 square so 9 pi square okay negative 1 to the power of 3 so you have negative 1 so negative negative is positive here okay and then you have cos 3 pi x okay do not let your solution just like this okay jangan buat solution kita macam ini so this one saya boleh padam lah padam okay so 2 over 3 plus blah 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 minus blah 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 plus blah blah, blah. okay and then I know that my solution is until infinity. Okay. Walaupun soalan dia minta sampai n equals to uh, 3. So, you just stop here. Then plus 1, 2, 3 dot 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 to show that this function is uh, infinite function. Okay. Dia ada lagi function selepas ini. Okay. This is when n equals to 1, n equals to 2, n equals to 3. And then you plus dot 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 to show that this function is continue lagi. Alright. So, this is the first example on how to compute the Fourier series okay and we are very lucky for the first uh, example we have um, even function so this is how we compute for even function we try to discuss in the next video on how to calculate on how to compute for the um, neither odd not even function this one okay so we stop at the uh, the first example then we continue the next bit in the next video for example five okay